The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. And this is the false argument that they use. Our life is short and dreary. There's no remedy when our end comes. No one is known to have come back from Hades. So let us lay traps for the upright man, since he annoys us and opposes our way of life, reproaches us for our sins against the law, and accuses us of sins against our upbringing. He claims to have knowledge of God, calls himself a child of the Lord. We see him as a reproof to our way of thinking. The very sight of him weighs our spirits down. For his kind of life is not like other people's, and his ways are quite different. In his opinion, we are counterfeit. He avoids our ways as he would filth. He proclaims the final end of the upright as blessed, and boasts of having God for his Father. Let us see if what he says is true and test him to see what sort of end he will have. For if the upright man is God's son, God will help him and rescue him from the clutches of his enemies. Let us test him with cruelty and with torture and thus explore this gentleness of his and put his patience to the test. Let us condemn him to a shameful death since God will rescue him or so he claims. This is the way they reason, but they are misled, since their malice makes them blind. They do not know the hidden things of God. They do not hope for the reward of holiness. They do not believe in a reward for blameless souls. And our response is taken from Psalm 34. They cry out in anguish and Yahweh hears and rescues them from all their troubles. Yahweh is near to the brokenhearted. He helps those whose spirit is crushed. Though hardships come without number and beset the upright, Yahweh brings rescue from them all. Yahweh takes care of all of their bones and not one of them will be broken. But to the wicked, evil brings death. Those who hate the upright will pay the penalty. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, According to St. John. After this, Jesus traveled around Galilee. He could not travel around Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him as the Jewish Feast of Shelters drew near. However, after his brothers had left for the festival, he went up as well, not publicly, but secretly. Meanwhile, some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, isn't this the man they want to kill? And here he is speaking openly and they have nothing to say to him? Could it be true the authorities have recognized that he is the Christ? Yet we all know where he comes from. But when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. Then, as Jesus was teaching in the temple, he cried out, You know me, and you know where I came from. Yet I have not come of my own accord. But he who sent me is true. You do not know him but I know him because I have my being from him, and it was he who sent me. They wanted to arrest him then, but because his hour had not yet come, no one laid a hand on him. The Gospel of the Lord.